Oh, <laughs> what's going on, guys? I know what you're thinking, and don't worry, the channel wasn't hacked. It's still me, Flish. I know it's probably a bit hard to tell with this costume I'm wearing, but you gotta admit, it's pretty awesome. I've dressed up as Dave this Halloween, and let me tell you, this has gotta be the best costume $400 could buy. Things are getting pretty spooky around here right about now. I've got the scary decor, I've got the scary costume. Now the only thing I need to complete this spooky Halloween morning is to put something spooky in my mouth. That's right, I'm about to start this Halloween off by eating the scariest breakfast imaginable. Okay, I underestimated how fucking terrifying this would be. I'm gonna go find something else to eat. The Halloween season. As a kid, this was probably my favorite time of the year, and to this day, it's still up there. Not only does it make October a month full of candy and fun spooky shit, but it's also what kicks off the big holiday onslaught that is the last three months of the year. I mean, think about it, by the time September rolls around, they've gotta fit back to school, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year stuff in all the stores at the same time. I mean, look at all these things to be excited about, it's awesome. As a kid, seeing those normally boring stores turn into holiday wonderlands was always an excitement, and it always starts with Halloween. Of course, they always throw a ton of candy onto the sales floor and some dog shit costumes, but the Halloween items I remember the most fondly from my childhood are the monster cereals. Aw oh, yeah, aside from bootios, these cereals are the scariest breakfast items money can buy. They're only made available during the Halloween season, and for me, they're what truly gave me the first burst of excitement for the holiday every year. I have so many memories of being a little kid coming home from school like it was any other day, and then stepping into the kitchen to find out that OH SHIT! The freaking monster cereals are here, Halloween is upon us. And I'd be hyped. I mean, come on, Halloween was freaking upon us, what more could I say? I knew that I was soon gonna be looking for costumes, and getting candy, and doing some dump-ass Halloween activities at school, like fucking bobbing for apples or some sh**. We did that back then, and it was freaking hype. And these cereals are what kicked off that feeling for me every year, even if it was still the beginning of fucking September when they rolled around. Even my parents got hyped for this cereal, they'd always bring home like three boxes of each flavor as soon as they came in stock, and they'd make sure to hoard a good stash until December. And all the while, I'd be trying to figure out how to eat more of it than everyone else. Dude, eating sugary cereal was a rarity in my family back then. At the time, I was usually stuck eating motherfucking life cereal for breakfast, which, ironically enough, made me feel dead inside. But hey, at least it was healthy. <laughs> And even when we did get garbage unhealthy cereal, it was probably off-brand, and even then, we'd only be allowed to eat it on the weekends. Which was freaking lame. But none of that matters anymore. I'm a grown-up. I create the rules now, and I can eat these cereals whenever the hell I want, including right now. Let's take a look at those boxes first. Each flavor has its own spooky mascot, and I'm usually used to seeing these guys in 3D render form. This is what I get nostalgic over. But that's just too bad so sad, because this is a special occasion. 2021 marks the 50th anniversary of this line of cereals' birth, so to celebrate, not only do the boxes look more in line with their original designs, but they got a whole little band thing going on. Count Chocula, meet the count who really rocks the co- Man, look at this. All the boxes have little factoids about their band and dance moves. That's just so exciting. Let's take a gander over here now. Oh, looky what we have here, a box top. Anyone remember box tops? Another nostalgic childhood memory, being begged by the teachers to please, oh please, bring in as many box tops as I could find, and I never understood why these teachers acted like their lives depended on how many flakes of cardboard we brought into class that day. There'd always be those kids who showed up to school with two huge Ziploc bags crammed with the things, and then there were kids like me who just didn't freaking care. Well, I've got a good few of them now, and I can safely say that I still don't freaking care. Like, at all, actually. But hey, only 800,000 to go, and my school can finally afford a new tetherball pole for the playground. <laughs> yeah, these things suck ass. Hey, Pete. Huh? Hey, so, uh, I've got some box tops here. Apparently they're worth, like, 10 cents a piece, so, like, you want them? Wait, what, seriously? Holy shit, uh, yeah, fuck yeah, I want them. Give me a second. I've gotta have some dime somewhere. Give me a second. Holy shit. All right, it is cereal o'clock. Time to finally dig in. I just realized I never actually explained exactly what these cereals are. They're Lucky Charms. Uh-oh. Yeah, Lucky Charms are kind of not my favorite at all, and these cereals look pretty freaking similar. Each flavor is composed of crunchy cereal bits with some marshmallows sprinkled in there. Luckily though, unlike Lucky Charms, those cereal bits are actually flavored in such a way that like, makes you want to eat it and not spit it the fuck out. For so many years, I was confused by the shape of these things. I had no clue what they were supposed to be. I kind of just thought they were like, shields or something, or feet? Uh, togepi? But nah, my mind was blown like a year or two ago, because I was too stupid to realize. Yeah, they're uh... They're ghosts, it's a Halloween cereal. Ooh. But now we can divert that confusion over to the marshmallows. What the hell are these things supposed to be shaped like? This one's obviously a bat, and all the other ones, I guess they're just supposed to be chicken nuggets or something. Well, it's about time to put this shit in my mouth, let's do it. This is the kitchen, where me and Pete would eat if we didn't both prefer to take our food into our rooms and then eat at our computers. But hey, at least we're getting some use out of it today. Now there will be a lot of swapping between the flesh cam and the in the flesh cam. And yeah, that probably makes the immersion value of this video plummet into fucking oblivion, but like, what else am I gonna do? Don't worry, I'll make up for that by breaking out the fine china. 
Starting us off, we've got Frankenberry, one of the OGs of the Monster Cereals line. This stuff has been around since 1971. Old bastard. As a kid, looking at this box, I had freaking no idea what flavor this was. Frankenberry? The frick does Frank taste like? But with this box, the giant freaking strawberry on the logo did help me figure it out, and uh... Strawberry? I don't know if I'd give it that, but it definitely tastes pink. This cereal's a lot like Wrigley's gum. Tastes good for that first few milliseconds, then completely doesn't. It is good, don't get me wrong. It's just, after it soaks in the milk for a little bit, it loses all flavor and just starts tasting like Lucky Charms, which is not what you should ever strive for, ever. And honestly, this flavor in particular kind of upsets my stomach. I don't know why, but whenever I eat a bowl of this Franken cereal, I feel the compelling urge to blow my asshole off in the bathroom. There was even a period of time in 1972 where people's shits were pink after eating this stuff due to the ingredients in it. And how the hell do you even make that happen? But hey, with these boxes taking us back to the past and all that, at least if this cereal does tear me apart later, it has the chance of creating something pretty. All right, so that first flavor wasn't into it. I don't remember it being this it's a fucking dog outside! The toilet trouble, plus the quickly fading flavor, it's just not a very enjoyable experience to be honest. So let's have some more! Booberry, Frankenberry's younger goth sibling, came out one year later and is apparently the world's first blueberry flavored cereal. But you probably wouldn't guess that by eating it since... Yeah, it doesn't really taste like blueberries. Neither does like anything that claims to be blueberry flavored for that matter. It does taste good and I like it more than Frankenberry. But it just doesn't taste like blueberries, it just tastes like blue cereal. But then we get to Count Chocula. My mind was blown as a kid when I found out that this existed. I'd always thought it was just these two, but no, Count Chocula was right beside Frankensmith as an OG in 1971. And guess what? It actually tastes like chocolate! Like, the flavor that it's based on, it tastes like that. It's crazy, honestly. Now, is it as good as something like Cocoa Pebbles? Absolutely not. But it at least has the marshmallows to kind of make up for that. And it still leaves behind some chocolatey milk. Again, not as chocolatey as the other cereals, but it's still better than the milk you get after eating these freaking things. Considering they lose their flavors after being soaked for five seconds, you'd think the milk would taste like something. But nah, it just tastes like the cereals just kind of graze the milk slightly with their flavors stupid. Now there are two more monster cereal flavors that have sort of become relics of the past now. Fruit Brute and Fruity Yummy Mummy. They were discontinued decades ago. They did return in 2013 for a couple months, but I totally missed out on that. They apparently had some pretty interesting flavors. For example, the cereal bits were fruit flavored. It seems that the flavors of these things changed a bit throughout their lives, and even their marshmallows were flavored like Lucky Charms marshmallows, unlike those from these cereals, which just taste like standard marshmallows. These flavors are supposedly long gone now, but oh, are they really? Yes. Oh boy, there's still one more monster cereal to try out. A special, limited edition cereal that reunites the gang in its entirety, all consolidated into one flavor. Monster Mash. That's right, since this is the 50th year anniversary of these mediocre cereals, these monsters decided to get together and celebrate by getting a freaking rock and roll gangbang going right in your bowl. When I first saw the box for this thing, my mind was blown yet again. My dad just brought a box home from the store one day, and it was kind of like reliving those childhood memories of being excited about monster cereal. I saw these names on the box, not knowing these flavors had ever existed, and it was like, Ugh! I was genuinely excited to dig in and find out what these never before tasted flavors had in store. So I poured out a bowl, expecting to see a beautiful amalgamation of the five cereals, but as it turns out, this cereal is actually just a combination of Frankenberry and Booberry. Fun fact, neither of those are the discontinued cereals I was looking forward to tasting here, so where the f*** are they at in this super special 50 year anniversary reunion? <laughs> well, they're in the marshmallows, of course! What? Oh, oh goody! They brought back the marshmallows from Fruit Brute and Fruity Yummy Mummy. The marshmallows! Oh man, I wonder what these super special marshmallows taste like for this super special reunion. Oh yeah, marshmallows! So to recap, the 50th anniversary super special Monster Mash cereal boasting the grand return of the long discontinued Fruit Brute and Fruity Yummy Mummy, contains the marshmallows of said discontinued cereals, as well as the ones from the other three, and the cereal bits are from only Frankenberry and Booberry. Honestly guys, I'm feeling pretty boo balls right now, but whatever man, it's all about the taste. Maybe the taste can save it. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I said that, this cereal's kinda garbage. Now this could have still been a good tasty cereal, but honestly, even for what it is, it's not that special. It kinda feels like the flavors of the Frankenberry and Booberry bits cancelled themselves out or something. It's not like some fruity explosion happens when I take a bite of this stuff. I just kind of end up tasting neither of their flavors. And the marshmallows? Listen, you've got them all in here, I get it. It's a super cool freaking reunion and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, here's the thing though. While admittedly the discontinued cereal's marshmallows do stand out against the other ones as a bit more flavorful and interesting, they kind of just still taste like Lucky Charms marshmallows. Couple that with the fact that these cereal pieces now taste about as dead as the ghost they're shaped like, and this monster cereal basically just ends up tasting like fucking Lucky Charms right out of the box. Freaking Lucky Charms! 
man. Jeez. And really, as the years go on, that's kind of what all these cereals start feeling like to me. Spooky Lucky Charms. Don't get me wrong, they're definitely better in my opinion, especially Count Chocula, but I just can't really say I care for these things anymore. They just feel like mildly better Lucky Charms to me now. Which sucks, I used to really enjoy this stuff, but I guess that's just all a part of growing up. As a kid, I hoarded this stuff. I wanted the biggest bowls, and I wanted to make sure I had a stash to live off of once Halloween passed, but now... I've grown up and have realized that a bowl of Cinnamon Toast Crunch kicks all these buffoony cereals asses and I can grab a box of that year round. But alright, how do I rank these cereals? I'm gonna go ahead and put Count Chocula up top. It actually tastes like the flavor it advertises. WHAT A CONCEPT! Booberry comes next, and then Frankenberry. And above all of those, I'm putting Fruit Brute and Fruity Yummy Mummy. I only got to taste the marshmallows, but honestly just fuck all of everything at this point. And dead last? Monster Mash. This shit turned my freaking taste buds into mash. Lucky Charms ass bitch. Swear to god, if I ever see anyone eat this shit, I'm have to intervene. Oh, the Monster Mash cereal. Oh, I've been waiting to try this stuff out. Oh, this is so awesome. Dude, this cereal Can sucks. Why are you eating no, this? No, 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 dude, dude, dude. What the? Dude, what was that for? Fuck that bowl of cereal. What just happened? Well, that's about it for the monster cereals. I cared about them until I didn't care about them. But our monster journey isn't over quite yet, because there are a few other random snacks based on this line out there that I figured I might as well try out here too. Count Chocula Mini Treats, little cereal bar things. First of all, Jesus God, these things are way smaller than I thought they'd be. And second of all, in what realm does this look like that? Compared to the box, this thing looks like a Dracula themed brick of shit. But all right, let's just pop this thing into my mouth. Well, after that experience, I can conclude that these things absolutely eviscerate the canker sores in my mouth, but they do taste good. Not very Count Chocula-y to me, but good. I'm not really a breakfast bar guy, but I've got fucking 19 of these things now, so freaking screw me, I guess. Okay, honestly speaking though, this is actually pretty freaking good. Like, it's better than all the cereals combined. So like, Waylord, you want some of this? Okay, I know it looks like fecal matter, but... It's genuinely better than the cereal. It's better than everything I've eaten today. It's it's good. Like, last chance. Do you want it? Well, now you're just being a f***ing baby. And finally, Monster Mash Fruit Snacks and Fruit Roll-Ups. Unfortunately, I couldn't find these things in any of the stores I ransacked, but don't you worry. I went ahead and got the next best thing. So, how does it all taste? Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, I love Monster Cereal, dude. What the fuck is even going on at this point? Yeah, I'm about done here. I've said all I gotta say about these cereals and then some. There's a bit more in the Monster Cereal Cinematic Universe I haven't covered yet, but listen, I ate a lot of cereal and my stomach's going a bit wild, so I'm just gonna have to hop off now and... Ah, f***. Alright, Flish, took a while, but I found some dimes in your room. Can I get those box tops now? Man, this is like, uh, some real 1972 Frankenberry nostalgia, huh? Would you like a fruit roll-up?